Welcome to this week's Travel and Young. We are at the beautiful Flensburg Castle in Germany. I'm gonna move the camera, so don't talk for a moment. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> this is the castle right here. Yes. Look at that. We've been driving from Hamburg. We've been driving home. from Hamburg. We had a fabulous time in Hamburg. Um, and we took the ferry uh, going over and now we're driving through Flensburg on the way back because we want to stop by this awesome castle which used to be Danish. So that's yeah. why we want to stop. Yeah, and Vilas is a little bitter about some of these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Formerly Danish Stolen places. Stolen property, clearly. Look at that. I mean... Stolen property here. It's not stolen property though. It still belongs to a Danish lineage family. It does. Um, yeah. It does. So we've destroyed some beer and food before and then we're about to go inside and see what this is about and learn more, right? I have all the facts ready. All right. All the facts ready. Very exciting. Yes. Well, let's go. Let's see if we can bring a smile on Vilas's face. <laughs> <laughs> As we yeah. Explore the we castle. Explore. We found out more. Let's go. On this week's Travel and Young. <laughs> I see three possible toilets. I, I there's well. one, then there's like a big two person toilet. Yeah. For and then a there's like a couple bathrooms. Small <laughs> turret toilet. Yes. So when we go in, do you yes. think we're going to find some toilets inside of here? I think so. I think yeah. Some I'm really interested in the double toilet situation. Yeah, and they're, it's strategically above the water, which well, would make sense. I mean, maybe that's on purpose, you yeah. know? Toilet deposits straight inside the moat. Fertiliz I meant for fertilization. Yes. Fertilization. For the moat? Yeah, for the, you know, water. The water wildlife? Yeah, exactly. Mm. All right, well, let's see if these three toilets are, in fact, toilets. Yes. They're strong candidates, though, so we'll keep you updated. I hope, I really hope that middle one is like a couple's toilet. Yeah, like a, a love seat, like from Saturday Night Live. Yeah, like just two the toilets toilet. next to each other. You can like hold hands while... While you're sitting on a, while you're getting splinters on the wooden toilet. Yes. Yeah. The love toilet, yeah. medieval style. Exactly. Okay, so we're outside the yes. church. We're, no, what, I just said church, castle. <laughs> There's a church we're inside a of church. there. And uh, and I was surprised at how important this was. I just kind of like saw a castle on the map it and was. said, let's go. Yeah, and we had no idea how important this castle is. There's a very, very long complex history of how this castle um, ended up being so important. But the most important part of this is that uh, it eventually came under the control of Christian the Ninth. And Christian the Ninth is known as the father-in-law of Europe, basically, because uh, he had a bunch of children. He had nine children, I think. And uh, one of his daughters uh, became the Queen of England. One of his daughters became the Empress of Russia. And one of his sons actually was uh, made the King of Greece. And so that's how they're all related to everybody, especially the British royal family. Um, so it is fascinating how intertwined this place is with not only the Danish royal history, but the royal history of basically all of Europe. 
Yeah, and we like they had this room with pictures of a bunch of the palaces yeah. they lived in, and yeah. we've been to some of them. We like, have. I think we're only we, missing one. We've been. We haven't. Or two. two. We're two, missing two. The one that we the Schloss. The, the Schloss Cum, uh, Cumberland. Cumberland. Schloss we've been to Cumberland. the Cumberland, Tennessee. Does that count? I don't think so. Okay. So that um, was like but, their daughter, Thura, yeah. was married to an Austrian prince, somebody yeah. important. But we've been to Windsor. We've been we've to been the Winter to Palace. Windsor. Yep, Winter Palace. We've now the been Palace here, in Oslo. by the way. We didn't go in the one in Oslo, but we saw no, it from the outside. we've seen it. And Bernstorf. We have not been in Bernstorf, but we've, we've been, been next to it. it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it is, it is absolutely fascinating just how crucial. This is really like the cradle of monarchy around Europe, yeah. right here. And it was a lot of fun. It was. Yeah. It was very interesting. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go check in with Maya because I think she has <laughs> some opinions. Let's go over to her. Hello, Maya. Tell me, hey. what did you think about the mannequins? Um, they were very creepy. I do not like mannequins. Yeah. So they they really freaked me out. And I was, like, we walked into one room. I don't know if you got to film it, but I didn't even realize there was like a door to another room, and I just turned around, and there's like a room full of like. Ten mannequins. Was it when they were at the table? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I did not. That was quite frightening. I did not enjoy that. Because it looked like they were mid-conversation. Yeah, I, d I didn't want to, you know, interrupt them. But it also felt like they were seconds away from just being like... So, uh, I, I hate mannequins. Also disappointed that the toilets had been converted I into know. closets. Yes, one of them had been converted into like a strange Hansel and Gretel candy forest. Yeah. I don't know if you filmed that. But I did not because it frightened me. Well, you can just imagine. <laughs> Um, yeah, but the rest of them were just wardrobes, which is disappointing. We didn't get to see the couple's toilet. Yeah, the love about. toilet. I know. So, Vilas, do you feel more connected to your Danish history now? Yes, I, I do feel a lot more connected. I learned a lot about Christian the Ninth that I didn't know. Yeah, so, that was pretty though, cool. Even though most of the text was in German, I got... You got through it? Yeah, I got through just it. Just barely. <laughs> there was some text in Danish. Yeah, a little bit. So you got that. <laughs> All right, well, this was the castle stop on our way back. We've got a couple more stops, probably some food mm -hmm. and yes. a quick border shop stop. Yes. Uh, before we head back into Denmark. I would rate it um, 10 out of 10 for mannequin quantity. Frightening mannequins? Yes, for frightening mannequin quantity. Very good. I think I saw one come alive. <laughs> <laughs> So here we are, we, we yes. I have to say real fast, you can't see it all, but I had to buy some good, I needed to contribute some decent beer to the Friday <laughs> bar, work stash of beer. So I got yes. some Frosted Cotter, some we did. Guinness, we and did. some Pilsner I Kale. Even, I even got um, cookie cutters for later. I got like a little pig, how yeah. Danish, little grease, little cat. And Vilas and Maya are back here. Ready Hi. to go. Ready to. Ready finish the journey back so that's it we had lunch in flintsburg did. and it's a really nice city i yeah. kind of want to come back yeah. and see it again we will we will fun All times right. well that wraps up if you can say in two seconds the one thing you wanted to add to the video super fast that you didn't <laughs> say before really fast <laughs> Really fast, I wanted to say that um, the reason why the uh, Glücksburg castle was so important was because Frederick the Seventh, uh, oh, I can't remember, Christian the Ninth's father ended up getting that castle. It was gifted to him by one of the Danish kings, and then uh, Christian the Ninth ended up being found out to be the closest relative uh, to after Frederick the Seventh died. That's how Christian the Ninth became king. Yeah. So. And That's a, a horrible of, yeah. explanation. Yeah, so I'm so, <laughs> so, so glad we got that in there. Well, you're making me nervous and <laughs> well, I can't get it we out were sitting completely. there complaining about it forever in the car. <laughs> All right, we're going to take off. Thanks yes. for joining us. We need to uh, finish the drive back home. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> bye.